Hey man, yeah. Yo guys, it's Chunks. It's your boy HP, like the sauce, Harry Panero. Yes, we are back with Think Twice, the show where we talk about the hottest topics in the world right now. As you can see, we're in a luxurious studio, no more in our cribs, but listen, it's too many you gotta stay away from me. Back it up, my G. Come on. But Ooh. listen, what, what are we uh, talking about today? Oh, you already know the vibes. This episode's gonna be about that money. Money, 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 money. And you already know the vibes. Let's agree or disagree. Today. Yes, guys, we're going to hear a statement and we have three seconds to either put up our agree or disagree paddle. With all that said and done, let's get straight. No, we're not going to do that. Harry, you should know I've done this four times now. Okay. <laughs> right? So what, what's missing? They need to subscribe. They need to like. They need to comment. Okay, so let's give them two seconds to make sure that they do subscribe. Well, we've given them two. There you go. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. Okay, cool. Ready when you're ready. But I just said I'm ready now. Okay, I'm ready too then. Okay, wait. Let's go. Lending a mate a fiver is the same as giving them a fiver. Agree or disagree? Yeah. And you lend your mate five pounds, is in fact giving them five pounds? Yeah. Of course. A fiver. Disagrees. Bro, if you're lending it, it's a loan, isn't it? A fiver, though. Because it's the specific fee we're talking about. No, but, uh, bro. A fiver. Wait, so wait, if wait. I ask you for a fiver, I just need to know this from now. No, no, don't turn it now. You, you saw what he initially no, started wait. with. What are you talking about? So, mate, about? basically trying to say to me, I say to you, oh, Ak, I beg you lend me five pound quickly. I need to go and buy this quickly. It might be a little, I don't know, something that costs five quid. You're telling me you're going to call me and say to me, H, I need my fiver back. No. That's what, that's what the question was. Hear what he said, bro. If you lend. So, yeah, that's where we was going with that question. Like, would you expect to get it back? Oh. No, but we mean, oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I don't care. Oh, oh, oh. Don't do that. Oh, whoa, well, well, I'm not having that. What? If I give someone peas, I don't care whether I get a, get a back or not. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Let's, five pounds? Let's, let's stop, let's stop. Five pounds. If you give someone peas, yes. you don't expect it back. So what five are you telling pound. me? Five pounds. So what's the limit? What are we going up to? Five pounds. That's it. So ten pounds. If, if I buy someone's food, like one of my breakfasts, I'm not gonna say, yeah, I got you that food that time. Yeah. So please make sure you remember. That's uh, one of the. No, I hate how that. About I hate this? that. That's the worst kind of people on in earth. the world. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. If I do something for you out of kindness of my heart, I don't want. I, I'm never gonna be that person that says to you, remember that time last week Saturday mm -hmm. at five pm when we went to Julie's yard and when we went to KFC and I got you. I'm, I, I, don't do that. Yeah, yeah. Don't do that. That means you didn't do it from a place of love. Well, like, like, yeah, that's bro. bad intentions. But also, I'm not a mug where if I'm buying you munch constantly yeah. and you just don't want to remember that I kept doing that yeah, for you. Yeah, of course, of course. How about now it's where Nando, do you want to pay for my food this time? It's been six in a row, mate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've been just scoffing on butterfly breast. I want scoff on butterfly breast too. I uh, hear you. And not pay for it? If, if a friend asks me for a fiver, no qualms. I'm not even going to ask for it back. Change. That's, that's, no, come on. If you've borrowed it 10 times in a row now, I'm an idiot if I don't yeah. say, yo, what okay. the hell are you doing? That's understandable. I think. No, I didn't would understand. Would you say, though, yeah? I it's didn't dependent. understand it. Don't, don't make me look like a, a, a type dick. <laughs> please. <laughs> I'm very selfless. My name in Arabic actually means selfless. Ooh. It doesn't. It means trustworthy, but you just have to switch up. See, now I don't trust you anymore. Wow. Good one, that one. See what I'm saying? Goes against the grain. But I, would, I will say, though, like, five pound, I think it depends on the limit, because five pound is what you can consider change. It's five pounds. No, but that's what I'm trying to say. That's yeah. different. Five but pound to you is change. No, you're rich, but I mean, you're rich. OK, I'm not rich, bro. You I'm are, just saying. Bro. I don't think there's anyone actively out here calling someone back for five pounds. I mean, if you do that, as, a, as, a, friend, as, a, 14, as a as a twelve year old, thirteen year old. Oh, back in the day, five oh, pounds diamond. Yes, yeah. If someone offered for five pounds, I think I'll just be like, that changes the narrative. That's then. my whole what I'm worth, mate. I'll Ooh. hound you. So then, then it it's a bit subjective, then because it's about your financial situation. There you go. You said something. Being a child, a kid, and you borrow someone five pounds mm. and they don't give it back to you, that can end a friendship. Facts. Like, right. At second, you think if I give you, bro, I was getting ten pound a week for school. Mm -hmm. If I give you half of my school wages, and you don't give it back to my, me, my net worth, not even bro, wages, that was my net worth. My net worth was I was worth ten pound at fourteen years old. If you're now taking half my equity, oh, big word. I need it back. Big big word. Equity is a fantastic but, bro, word. Should I, should I tell you who's dreadful, who, who's horrible? Yeah. Yeah. It's just because I'm making a bit of peas right now, someone asks you, "Chuck, can I get x x amount? Let's say a grand." Yeah. Oh, no problem, bro. Yeah, I can borrow that. If I've now asked for it a month later, by the way, where's that grand, bro? Why you keep asking, bro? Like, a grand's nothing to you. Oh. First of f***ing all, please bleep that out. I'm just getting very angry. It's my money. 
If I was to hound you for two pounds, I'm pound, vexed just thinking Obviously, about that's, that that's tight of me, but it's not, I'm obliged. I, I, it's my piece. You, you have to give it back. Do you know what I mean? But a grand and you lot are running, don't do that. Please don't do yeah. that. I think the worst people is be people that ask you for money with the most sincerity in their heart. But when you start messaging them back, like, bro, how far with a piece? Their data stops working. Missing, MIA. They stop, they stop responding. M -I then it starts to become, you start thinking, why am I asking this person for money? When really and truly, what people would respect more than anything was to say, bro, I can't lie right now, I can't, I've I, got I, it. I ain't got it right now. You know, I'd rather yeah. say to my friend, you know what, bro, shout me when you've got it. You know, because yeah. it will cause a division between our yep. friendship. Yes, yes. When you don't respond. Just be honest, man. Be honest, like, man. There's been times that I've been down, you've been down. Yeah. There's been times where I just don't have peas and I can rely on one of my friends because I know he's got the peas there for me there. I'm not going to lie to him. Like, if I'm, if I'm going to grab peas off him, I'm genuinely going to tell him, yo, I'm going to pay back when I can. I just think, as a friend, transparency is the most important thing. I feel like... Bro, respect me enough yeah. to just tell me, my guy, financial my situations bro, right now it, ain't guanin. But then it's also, you're, you're, you know what I mean? You're obliged to make sure you're actively trying to get his peas back. 100%. If he's your friend, don't just think he's an ATM where he can take money out and not come back to it. Do you know I think I mean? the hardest thing for someone who's doing their thing and is financially stable is to say no to your friends because it then becomes a thing of he's not trying to help me. But really and truly, some friends just take the mick. I feel like if, if, if I borrowed a piece to a friend and he just told me, yeah, bro, I can't lie, I don't have it. No problem, bro. But are you doing something about it to yeah, get yeah, me? Yeah, like, yeah, can you give me yeah. an estimate date? Like, you know don't just though, say yeah. I haven't got it because like, all right, cool. But I'm, I'm not a but don't also take the out of me, bro. But I think, like, see with some people's insecurities of the fact that they don't have the money. I think when you ask them that, they take it personal. They take it as it's a dig. Like, why are you asking me that, bro? You know what my situation is. It's like, cool, but it's just a question I, I need to ask. Because when a bank asks for a repayment, they don't ask you, you know what I'm saying? They, they ask for the money. Right. They request the money. I feel like it should be the same respect you have for giving back a bank to the same to your friend. I think, if anything, if you pay me back and, I, and you get in that jam again, I'll be more inclined to help you again, knowing that you're going to pay me back. But when you mess up with the payment dates, it's over. That's when it goes left. And that's where you, get, lose, yeah. you lose the, friends the money from that. Yeah, the money situation is very tricky. You have to tread carefully. Uh, when I'm giving my money to friends, I don't expect it back, but preferably it would be nice. Yeah, if it's, if, it's, if it's over X amount, you know what I mean? If it's, mm. if it's like, if I'm paying for your food, I, that's, don't worry about that. Yeah, yeah. But like, if you've come to me as a man and said, yo, I'm in a situation, I need money, and you don't pay that back, that's scummy. Yeah. That's what I think. So, yeah, scumbag baby. Yeah. I agree with Chunks. I think Chunks has hit the nail on the head. Uh, Definitely do believe that, I mean, out of, out of respect for your friend, I think you should also always pay your friend back. They've done you a favor, which you needed them at the most. Do them a favor by just repaying it, by showing your gratitude and pay them. But when it comes to that five pounds, it's not a problem. I mean, but again, it is down to the circumstance. But this circumstance, my current one, I don't know, I'm dog. We agree. I give away, we give away the money. <laughs> but if you're asking for 10 racks, Impossibly. <laughs> Impossibly. No reception, brother. You must be crazy. Got a little one on the way. Pampers, baby wipes, clothes, milk, education, all cost money. Mm. Must be mad. Ain't a bank. <laughs> I've never heard of a bank called Harry Pinero. Soon. <laughs> Howdy, guys. This is Imagine That. Can you imagine? We're going to be given a scenario. We have to choose one out of the three options. If we're going to have an argument, and whoever's got the better argument is going to win. Basically, I'm going to win. So let's get straight into this. Doesn't make sense. No, I said let's get straight into this. I mean, look, I've won. Okay, let's just leave it there, all right? So guys, you're going to a party and you can only get one of the following. A trim, fresh trainers, or a new outfit. What one do you choose? Oh, a trim, of course. A trim. Trimothy. Trimothy, trimothy because trimothy. clothes, you can just re-wear them. Mm. Shoes, re-wear them. Trimothy. Trimothy. Fade. Like you can have the freshest crepes. I'm fading away. You can have the freshest crepes, the freshest clothes. Get out of here. If the trim's looking whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're done out. You're Bro, done out. Do you know the power of a haircut? When you're stepping out and, and the light shines on you in the bar and you say, can I get two this and two that? And the girl looks at you and everything's just looking crispy. You think she's looking at your crepes? She's going to look at your face and say, oh, lips. She might even do that lip. Yeah. Trims are the best, you're crazy. Yeah. A stupid fade. And you see when you spray your neck, and she goes, excuse me, and she goes, oh my God, what's that? Get out of here, you stupid man. You're, that's, that, that is yours now, she belongs to you. Do you know how much gal I did take on from just having a trim? Keys, keys over. Have, make sure you have your car key, and make sure you, it's near your hair, near your trim. <laughs> so go, you ready? 
Tap your hair. Let us see. With the car keys. With the car key. You're gone. Stupid man. Yeah. You're getting there. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. And then it's got a Mercedes keys up. Get out of here. Now I'll be honest. If you don't wrap up after that one. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Because clothes, yeah, really truly. She it's, doesn't it's, like men. It's dark in the ray when you think about it. If you're not wearing a bright t-shirt that says a big brand on it, no one cares. Yeah. Seriously, but the haircut, bro. Have you ever tried to wear good clothes with an afro? Horrible. Horrible. <laughs> you look like you're trapping hard, but you got good clothes. <laughs> now all the man with afro that are watching this right is. Yeah, quote, ah, uh, bro. Everyone... Uh, man, them don't listen to him. It works with some people. Who? Who does it work with? There's a camera. There's a brother behind the camera with afro right now. Have you seen most of the man them how they look during this quarantine right now? They look like they've been in cunch for cunch. four months. I think having a haircut is a, is a big indication of self-respect and self-love. You care about how you look. You want to make sure that you're carrying that surname that your family worked hard for. All of that for you're, a trim. It's, a, it's deeper, bro. You know already, Ak. Because when we got that trim from Smokey, you know how you but was feeling. I felt like the man. You felt like who? I, I thought I could draw Rihanna. Do you know how mad it is? I feel like when I get a haircut, it's very disrespectful for you not to ask for my number. That's true. I think it's so disrespectful. I think yeah. like, what did your mum teach you? Did you not see me walk past you? Trims, number one. Thank you very much. What would you say number two then, at least? Shoes or Smelling. gums? Smelling. No, no, smell? shoes or gums. Oh, shoes or gums? Gums, isn't it? No, you know. Come on, Trainers, bro. bro. Sh trainers. What's I'm that? saying, you could wear a plain t-shirt, plain jeans, and some really nice trainers. True. It does, and True. It does wonders. True. Trainers are so important. But let's, we all agree that trim is the most important. Yeah, the most important. Yeah. But second in that list has to be the crepe stem. Yes. Thank you. Now this round's called Deep It. Deep It. And you can tell by those amazing vocals, it's going to be a deep one. Deep conversations, deep answers. Let's get deep into it. <laughs> deep dive. Oh, deep bottom. Dive deep. The bottom's deep. Let's get into it. That's a deep bottom, what is that? Well, yeah, I don't know. The footballers earn too much money. No. That's no, they don't. disrespect. No, they don't. To the craft of being a footballer. No, they player. don't. Impossible. Nurses, mm -hmm. doctors, mm -hmm. bin men, mm -hmm. cleaners. Mm -hmm. All the people that have working, been working tirelessly, tirelessly mm -hmm. through the, the COVID period, yeah? yeah. Uh, I might just say it. Deserve more peace. 100%. Guaranteed, yeah? 100%. 100%. It's not taking, we're not taking anything away from you guys. You, we know you deserve more peace, but we're not saying that footballers deserve less because there's a demand for it. If there's a demand for something, it's basic economics, bro, demand and supply. There's so much demand for it, so that means there's going to be more disposable income, there's going to be more money available. And it's only right to pay the footballers the money that's accessible. Whereas, like in the NHS, for example, it's all government funded, you know what I mean? It's all coming, so it's all taxpayers, yeah? So there's not that much money to be paid, you know what I mean? Or maybe it is, but they're just not releasing I, it. I think you're right. I think it doesn't take away the fact of what the nurses and doctors do, because they're bringing and saving lives. They're doing something that's beyond a financial cap, if that makes sense. We, saw, we saw what they did after. Bro, my mum's a midwife. Yeah. The midwife's brought my son into this world and I can't thank them enough for what they do. That job isn't, should, shouldn't be underpaid, but it is because of the government thing. I yeah. feel like the, the, the money that that makes doesn't transcend into, into, their, into their banks. But with football, as you said, there's a massive global market, market for it. There's investments, there's branding, there's people watch, millions of people watch a match a day. There's big, big companies, multi-billionaire companies that pump peas into football annually, bro. Mm. So that's why there's money available. What would you want the footballers to do? Get paid a normal amount, but then FIFA get to keep the peas? Like mm, what? Mm, mm. You know what I mean? It only makes sense that they get paid the peas that come in. I think that's just something people do a lot. They like to compare incomes with different people. Shouldn't it's do like, that. It's like, for example, Jeff Bezos, who's a billionaire, will donate 25 all, million, trillion, yeah? Now. Yeah, see, he'll donate 25 million and then he'll say, that's only 0.1 of his wealth. Bro, 25 million is still 25 million, bro. Yeah, yeah. And I feel Shall like- I flip it though? Yeah. Shall I flip it? Go ahead. Uh, that brother, what's his name? What's the, Virgil. Oh my days, Virgil, Virgil. Virgil. Donated $50. To Black Lives Matter. To Black Lives and he's Matter. he's a And the man has absolutely made that, millions from- that's that's outrageous. You see what, like for example, what Marcus Rashford's doing with his money. Yeah. He's in, trying to invest massive amounts of money. Big respect to Marcus Rashford. Yeah, massive respect for him because he's someone who is going to be the future of football for England. I think those things need to for be the, highlighted. For those people that don't understand what, what Rashford did, what did he do? Yeah, he do? well, he's um, raised 20 million 
pounds in, I don't know how, it's been under six months, I think, for charities to help young people who are um, homeless. And he's saying his he's aim is to not stop until no kid in the UK is going to be left homeless and stuff. So I think there's some players that we don't see what they do. Like a lot of African players invest heavily into their communities back home. The media don't allow us to see that stuff, put it that way, because someone like Raheem Sterling, just him alone being a black person, is coming from the ends and has now become one of the faces of football in the world. That does a lot for young people who are going through a lot. When you look at these people, because you look at them and think, I'm like them as well. Stormzy pledged 10 hours as well. Stormzy, 10, 10 million over 10 years. These are the people we need to celebrate and these are the people that have worked hard. And even like, they'll, if, if they was to come for someone like Stormzy, I'd say you lot are crazy. Cause go and, go and make a, um, a number one album twice in a row. Go, go, go do like, the records. I, I, like, I like Glastonbury. Go do that and see, and then, then we can talk. These things yeah. that people are doing are not normal. That's why everyone can't do it. And I think people need to understand that as well. Cold. Do you think it should have been mandatory for all footballers to take a pay cut during COVID? Uh, definitely not mandatory, but um, I feel like everyone was happy to take a pay cut. A lot of the people I follow on Instagram, um, like I saw them all post the, the government official like, letter saying oh, how they're going to be taking a pay cut. And obviously that, that in itself just shows how, how, how nice these people are because they don't necessarily have to do it, mm. but they wanted to do it, do you know what I mean? So it's kind of overlooked because straight away people just be like, they get judged if they get, oh, they get 200 grand a week. Why do you need that much? That's excessive. But, mm. like, but like, you, like Harry said, like, they've worked incredibly hard as well as other people, of course, but they've worked incredibly hard and the, the stats of people that actually make it into professional football mm -hmm. and then into Premier League, I think there's more of a chance of you getting striked by Thunder 19 times in a row, bro. Yeah. Obviously, it's that difficult. Like, <laughs> yeah. it's not easy to make it. So, I understand why they do get paid that much. But then another conversation we do need to have is why people that are essential workers necessarily don't get paid enough. The, the money comes out of nowhere with the government and we all know how NHS has been disrespected. So that's, like I said, it's a whole different conversation. But in terms of this, I think it's not mandatory. I think that's got nothing to do with them. Like COVID-19 has got nothing to do with football players. They didn't create it. It's something that's a worldwide pandemic. For them to now suffer, they've got bills, they've got things that they need to live. Different lifestyles to, to the normal person, but it's still a way of living. They've got bills. Most of them have kids. They have to think about those things as well. So I think the, the the clubs who furloughed staff should be, we should point fingers at them. Like without the staff, there's no team. Do you know what I'm saying? Because it's bigger than just the players. Yeah. It's fans, it's the, it's the kit man, it's the person who does the grass, all of that stuff as well. So I think clubs need to look at themselves as well because they're, they're as much to blame as well, not the players. Players just do their job on the field. Obviously, we're not going to get into politics, poli like, because that's not our thing. Like, man, don't know how yeah. the government split their piece. You know what I mean? All I know is that I paid a lot of tax <laughs> this year, <laughs> and it sh and hopefully it went majority to the NHS because yeah, hopefully. yeah, yeah. I'm going to disagree and say footballers don't get paid too much. I feel like they get paid fair amount. Yeah. I'm not going to say they get paid less because that's just crazy. Now. Come on, we know. You know what I mean? Friends. I know what e-footballers get weekly yeah. and uh, I'd like 10% of that. Uh, but yeah, and <laughs> also I'm going to add an additional statement. Do uh, essential workers get paid too little? Agree with my whole chest. Whole chest, head, leg, foot, arm, ankle and You guys toenail. are underappreciated. I love you guys so much. I want to say all the NHS workers, all the essential workers, we really appreciate you. Without you yeah. guys, I don't know what we'd be doing. My sister, my two of my sisters work in hospital as well. My mum's a midwife, my sister's a pharmacist. Look at that. Look at that. Just a family full of family good people. Full, and look at what I do. <laughs> I'm just an idiot that makes jokes. On YouTube. Goodness me. <laughs> Who'd want to be me? Yes, my peoples, it's the end of the video, but it's also time for you to put your comments down below. Ask us some questions. We'll answer them for you. But you've got to be out of your mind if you think that's going to happen without you subscribing, liking, commenting, hitting that notification button right there or down there or there or there, because I don't know where the screen is at the moment. Do it now, you get some answers. Yeah, well, you, you said it there. Yeah, that was amazing. I must say, no, that I, was, I could, yeah, else to I've say. done really well there. Thank you very much. Well, what we can say is I've been Chunks. And I've been Harry Panera. Don't hate, subscribe, yeah. And don't hate, appreciate. Skate is going skate. Haters going hate. It's what they do. Mm -mm. Potatoes, not potato. Tomatoes, not tomato. Didn't really work. Yeah, it did, was did, meant did. to rhyme. I was going so well, yeah. yeah. I won this battle. I was going so well that I put the bucket in. It's going so well that the bucket went. You f***ing waffled. I went to say well as oh. F yeah. All right, cool. Um, we just hit 500k subscribers. To say thanks, we're giving away a full creator starter kit. Yeah, a camera. 
Lights. A mic. Wait, you what the mad. hell is this all about then? You lot are giving away Bruh, all this. man's been here working so with you lot then? for a year now. No MacBook, no nothing. Uh, also a software, I don't even know what software. So you're giving they're them even, a full YouTube kit. Being... This is dumb. This is dumb. Look, I'm not look, even reading it. No look, listen. I'm not even reading it. Wait, wait, right Deal with it yourself. I if you want to win it, all you have to do is just follow the Foot Asylum TikTok channel, like the competition video, and tag five friends, tell them to do the same. It's he said simple. disgrace!